हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम नीरज वेलकम टू द न्यू एपिसोड ऑफ फोलेस्टेक वेब एप्लीकेशन यूजिंग रिएक्ट जी एस एंड गो फाइबर फ्रेमवर्क सो दिस इज अवर क्लाइंट एप्लीकेशन रनिंग फाइन सो वी हैव सेट अप अवर एप्लीकेशन एंड एंड वी हैव सेट अप अवर होम राउट एंड नाउ सो लेट एस कंटिन्यू टू वर्क मोर ऑन दिस होम पेज एंड द आइडिया इज दैट वी आर गोइंग टू पैच द ब्लॉग्स फ्रॉम अवर ए पी आईज and uh, we will list all the blog details all the blog posts in a a, a box kind of thing and uh, so this is what we are going to do that so let us do that so we will land in our vs code and uh, we will do that so we are in our vs code a code editor and uh, so first of all so we will need to fetch the data from our api so also so i will start my api so i will create another terminal and uh, we will cd into server and we will uh, start our server so our server has been started and now i will come back to our react terminal so first of all so we will start uh, we will use uh, use effect hook because we need to whenever this component gets loaded so we will need to uh, fetch the data so i'll start a uh, use effect hook and uh, uh, so i'll going i am going to create a function here so const fetch data that would be a arrow function so we will fetch the data uh, in this function and also we will call this function as well so fetch data like this and uh, we will have a empty dependency the uh, the dependency array as empty one so that uh, uh, this api call would make uh, would happen only once whenever the component gets loaded mounted for the very first time right so here i will declare a variable const api url that would be http local host port 8000 and uh, since uh, we want this to be in run in the async mode so we will use async keyword and uh, we will also in need to import axios so we will say import axios from axios right so once this is done and uh, now we will need to uh, make an api call to this our api url so that is very simple so first we will select it in a variable and uh, we are going to so it it may take some time so since this isn't running in async mode so it it returns a promise so we'll have to wait it and we will say axios dot get and uh, we will pass on api url so fine and uh, and also so it is all it is always better to wrap uh, since this is uh, this may return a uh, error so better to have a try catch block and uh, we will initiate the api call inside the try block and inside the error if there is any any error so we will very simply say error dot response and we will log the error in our uh, in our in, in our console terminal right so like this and uh, here we will check if response dot status equals 200 then only we are going to do our stuff whatever we need to do that so actually we will need to store this data uh, that would that is that would be returned from our api in a state variable so we will declare a state variable as well so we will name it uh, let's say api data and uh, it would be set api data 
and that would be a use step so by default so i am going to make it a false and uh, and now so if uh, this uh, uh, return uh, this returned a successful so then we will set the api data with the response dot data fine and uh, we can also do a console log here clg and we can say api data fine so let us try to do run it looks like there is um, some error so use effect is not defined so why it didn't got auto import it no worries so we can import it manually so use effect fine and api url is not defined const api okay so api url fine so yes now so there is no error so we will land in our browser and uh, we will refresh it we will open a terminal uh, i'm in the console terminal so here there are we are getting some errors and the errors are related to the course so it says that uh, is the, this request is blocked uh, by the course policy no access or access control allow origin header is present on the request result reason being that we are initiating a request from localhost port 3000 while our api is running on port localhost port 8000 so our api is running so there is no problem with that so but uh, in our server side so we need to configure our server in such a way that our api host or uh, api server can take the request from uh, this uh, localhost uh, the, this application running on port localhost port 3000 so in order to do that so we will come back to our server as well and inside our server so in the server.go file so we need to add a few stuff and uh, in order to do that so first of all so we will come to the fiber golang and uh, in the documentation it is very simple so we will need to add uh, this course middleware so this is very very simple so first of all so we will need to import this course package as well so we will import it here and once it is imported so the very basic uh, signature is the uh, this uh, course uh, middleware is that we need to provide this one as a default one so go with the default one so default one also works pretty well so there is no problem with that so i am going to add this here and uh, in the allow origins so let us accept request from every host so that way so our application will start taking request from uh, every any host and maybe it's a local port running 3000 or just any any domain fine so now if we run our application so we are getting the data and uh, this is the data so we are having this blog records so ideally actually we will store this blog records in our state variable so that we can uh, iterate through it and we can uh, we can render a list in the uh, our ui so let us do that so we will come back to our uh, react.js application and uh, inside this data so further we will need to extract blog records and also we can uh, in uh, just to make it show so we can also check because we are also returning this uh, uh, status text so we can also check for this as well like uh, <coughs> sorry so like response dot data dot status text equals okay then only we are going to 
set this state variable otherwise we will not so let us check that now what is the so yes so now right now so this looks to to be fine and uh, this time now uh, the only work left is that we will need to iterate through this uh, 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 api data and we will need to uh, render it in the ui so let's do that so our first part has been done and in fact most of the parts has been done so here we have uh, uh, started a column and by the way so i made a typo last day so it would be class name like this and uh, we will first of all actually we will check if api data is present then only we will iterate through it and for the iteration so we will use api data dot map method and uh, this method it returns basically uh, two things so we will collect two things so first one would be the record and second would be our index and uh, and here we are going to start a new call with the access equals we will say four and uh, here we will say we will start a div and inside this div so i am going to write record dot title and uh, we can also have another div with for the we are getting the title and the post so we can say post here so we will save it so hopefully we should get the list of the blocks so yes it is fine so actually things i i think like uh, uh, let us uh, make it uh, let's uh, provide some css to it so we can have a class name here and we will have a, first of all let's say py5 and uh, th that way so we will have some uh, some spacing and let us also make it a little far so actually uh, this looks fine but actually i want it uh, to have uh, this kind of uh, i mean a box kind of thing so in order to do that so actually we will need we will uh, uh, need to apply some css on it and we are going to write our own css so this is our app.css so we will get rid of all of this and uh, instead so we will uh, create our own css classes so we will say box and that is going to have a border and a border of let's say uh, solid 1px and the color would be i'm going with the let's say triple zero and uh, in our app.js files so what i am going to do is that i am going to apply this css on it so we should have uh okay so actually uh we need to import this css as well so we will import it and our file name is Yes, so now so uh, we should also give some margin so no problem so we will come to our and we will provide a margin right but let's say 5px should be fine and uh, or maybe so we will give a whole a full margin with a margin 5 px 
and uh, padding let's say 10 px so let's save it and actually we can uh, i mean just uh, apply the css and we can based on our requirements so we can create our own css and uh, we can design our ui as uh, as and how we need so this is how so and we can also make it a bold so no problem so we can what i am going to do this that i am going to so create another class for title and that would be font width equal to say 800 and uh, i am going to apply this title on this div actually so div and class name equal to title so this way our title should appear in the bold and uh, our post content would be would be rendered as a plain one so that's all for this session so and uh, one more thing we can do is that uh, uh, right now so we have hard coded our url but we can also use a uh, uh, we can also access this from the environment and uh, environment is very very simple so we will need uh, to create a file here and we will say dot env and here i am going to have a variable so react underscore app underscore api api root and that is going to have http localhost port 8000 so we will save it and uh, we can access this uh, variable within our uh, this application so that uh, if we deploy this application so we only need to change the our api root uh, server only at one place instead of uh, uh, this multiple places so in order to read it from the environment so we will need to use the process dot env dot and the name of our variable and uh, since we made some change in the environment so uh, like this time so if we try to refresh it so we are not getting any data reason being that uh, since we have changed in the environment and whenever there is any change in the environment so we need to restart our server so we will restart our application and uh, this time so hopefully we should get the data so fine so we are getting this data and uh, we are uh, getting we are we are making this api call uh, from the environment uh, the api root is we are we are reading from the environment and uh, in the next session so now we need to work on whenever it's like user clicks on this blog title so we will need to open the this blog content in the in the read in the, in the detail mode and likewise we will have some button to create to create a new to, to create a new blog and uh, we can also have uh, two icons here that uh, read it, uh, just one one link one route would be for reading the the blog detail and uh, one for the updation and third and uh, the second one would be for deletion so in the coming session session so we are going to work on that stuff so uh, that's all for this session so if you have anything to say so please uh, do let me know in the comment section and i'll see you in some other session so till then take care and happy coding